Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand about solved example 12.6. It says that a wire of given material having length L and area of cross section A has a resistance of 4 ohm. What would be the resistance of another wire of the same material having length L by 2 and area of cross section 2A? So we have taken one material, we have taken one conductor and its length is L and area of cross section is A. At that time its resistance is 4 ohm. So for the wire 1, length is L, cross section of area is A but the resistance is 4 ohm. When we are taking the same materials wire but that wire we are named it wire 2 in which length we are reducing to half. L equals to we are taking L by 2. We are not taking the same length. We are reducing it to half. And area of the cross section we are doubling it. So area will be 2A. And at that time we have to find out what will be the resistance for wire 2. Here material will remain same. So if we are taking the another piece of the wire of same material of same length and same area then the resistance will remain same because material length area of the cross section everything is similar so resistance which is related to material length and area will also remain same but here we are changing length and area so resistance will vary now let us write our formula that resistance equals to resistivity length divided by area now this situation is correct for the wire 1 and here resistance is 4 ohm so at the place of r i am writing 4 4 equals to rho l by a now let us check about wire 2 for the second situation that similar formula i am writing r equals to rho l by a but here we have to replace L with L by 2 because we are changing the length here which is going to be L by 2 and area we are taking instead of A we are writing 2A. Now this resistance is with respect to wire 2. If I reframe this equation something like this that R equals to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 because 1 by 2 is for this and 1 by 2 is for this so 1 divided by 4 and into the bracket I am taking remaining things that rho L by A. Now rho L by A its value is 4 from the equation 1. This is going to be our equation 2 as per the wire 2. So as per the equation 1 this formula will give us value that is 4. So let us substitute 4 equals to rho L by A. So here we will get R equals to 1 divided by 4 into 4 which will give us 1 because 4 and 4 we can cut it out. So here we will get 1 since this is resistance we will get 1 ohm. Unit of the resistance will be 1 ohm. Here we can also write that this is for the wire 1 so this is resistance 1 and this is going to be our resistance 2 because this is for the wire 2. So when we are changing length of the conductor and that too we are making it half and area of the cross section we are making it double at that time resistance will be 1 ohm. Here resistance is 4 ohm so we can see the difference here resistance is more here resistance is less. And why that has happened? Because we, resistance is inversely proportional to area. So one will increase, other one will decrease. So here we have increased the area. We have made it doubled. So that's why resistance has been reduced. With respect to length, resistance is directly proportional to length. If length will increase, resistance will increase. And length will decrease, resistance will decrease. So here we have decreased the length by half. So that's why resistance has even decreased more. So that's why resistance is very less here because it has decreased because of the area and it has decreased because of the length. So that's why resistance is very less here.
So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos, we are going to cover some important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.